on at least a monthly basis, you should ensure that your bank transactions are all accounted for. Reconciliation is the primary feature of Adagio Bank Rec. To access the reconciliation process, there is a recon button on the toolbar, or it can be started via bank inquiry. Choose the bank that you want to reconcile. This grid displays all transactions that are still outstanding. Records can be sorted by the check reference, date, or amount. If you simply want to reverse checks rather than perform a complete reconciliation, edit the check and change the status to reversed. Reversing checks will generate ledger entries and restore paid invoices. To choose the GL fiscal period updated by the reversal, pick the date in the Reversal Options area. One click can select the same date as the check. If the check was a cash invoice for a payables vendor, you can set an option in Payables to allow reversing the invoice portion with the check. The Post button then becomes Post Reversal to indicate only reversed checks will be posted. If you simply want to reverse a receipt or a deposit rather than perform a complete reconciliation, edit the transaction and change the status to reversed. Similar to checks, reversing receipts will generate ledger entries, restore paid invoices, allow selection of the reversal date, and change the post button to post reversal. Processing the reversal follows the same route as NSF receipts, creating batches in bank rec and receivables to post. The first step of a reconciliation is to enter the date of the bank statement and the ending balance. This will calculate the total amount of transactions that needs to be reconciled for the statement. You may choose to hide transactions after this bank statement or any other date by entering a value in the Cutoff Date field. All records with a later date and no pending status change will be suppressed. Most transactions are usually cleared. This can be done easily by multi-selecting all the transactions to clear, which do not have to be consecutive, and pressing the spacebar. This sets a pending status of cleared to these checks, which will be permanently updated after posting. The other status change is clearing the check with an amount error if the amount that cleared the bank is different than what was entered in bank rec. The ledger error account can be edited if an option is enabled on the bank. Either of these changes update the to clear amount, showing the progress and if there are further checks to select. If within a deposit, some customer receipts were cleared by the bank but others have not yet, you can edit the deposit details and choose to split the deposit into two entries. Multi-select the group of receipts that either have cleared the bank or not, and you must choose at least one but not all, or errors will appear. Click the Split Deposit button and enter a unique reference value to where the selected receipts will be moved. Perhaps add a single letter so that it will be easy to identify in the next reconciliation. When this is saved, a new entry will be created, and you can reconcile the desired portion. To look for a specific transaction, use the Find button to search by the Reference field, including the use of Smart Finder. Another way to more easily locate transactions during a reconciliation is to enable the Hide Pending checkbox, so that only the outstanding records remain. And whenever you mark statuses on more records, you can press the F9 key to refresh the screen and hide these as well. There are two reports available to assist in determining the correctness of the reconciliation process. The bank reconciliation listing will print the opening balance, checks to be cleared, the new bank balance, checks still outstanding, and the final cash balance. You can use this report to reconcile to the ledger amount for the bank as of a chosen period. The worksheet report will list all the transactions with pending status changes grouped as deposits or payments. If you need to start fresh and remove all pending statuses, the reset button will make all checks outstanding. The amount to clear must be zero 
before the post button will become active. This ensures that the cleared transactions match up to your final statement balance. When you are satisfied with all the pending status changes, click Post to save the new statuses. You can choose to back up the related data along with posting. A setting on the bank to update payables check reconciliation allows transferring the posted changes directly to the respective bank in Adagio Payables, so you do not have to re-enter the changes to the checks. Choose Pending Status to only require opening check reconciliation and click the Post button, or choose Complete to have both reconciliations posted simultaneously. Keep your bank reconciliation up to date so that all is in sync and nothing is overlooked. Find out more about Adagio from the product page on our website. Watch another training video on this Adagio program from the playlist or subscribe to the Adagio YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.